Bonjour tout le monde, je m'appelle Fox, je suis américain, je suis désolé, je n'ai pas de fromage. Je vais aller, à... je vais, ah, parce qu'à acheter, pour acheter, je vais aller là. Je ne résisterai pas! That's pretty much the extent of my French. The problem in my mind with learning a language in an academic setting is that the teachers and the course and the curriculum are too focused on things that you can measure, such as you learning grammar patterns or you learning vocabulary. It's more about memorization and less about making new connections in your mind with a sound and an object that you're familiar with. The truth is, nobody cares about the color, size, age, shape, or gender of an object. What's important is you conveying an idea to another person and you understanding the idea that they respond to you with. The reason I'm making these videos is because I am going to Paris in about six days with one semester of college level French and approximately 80 hours of listening to French media such as movies, television shows, cartoons, and music. My first goal with these videos is to document my growth in the French language as I'm in Paris. My second goal with these videos is to use my growth as an example and a practical guide for other people that want to learn French. This is kind of like a science experiment. Today, we're going to examine my baseline. So right now, we're going to do my listening comprehension. I'm going to watch a video by Cyprien. This video I have not seen yet. It was posted one day ago. Bonjour et bienvenue dans cette vidéo très particulière parce qu'aujourd'hui on va faire quelque chose d'assez fou. On va faire une partie de loup-garou dans un décor de dingue et des costumes de dingue puisque on fait cette partie dans l'univers de la série The Witcher qui vient de sortir sur Netflix. Je vais pas vous mentir, je vais incarner le personnage principal. Je vais être plutôt beau gosse. J'ai très hâte de voir comment la partie va se dérouler. Il va y avoir des trahisons. Lâche-moi Lâche-moi Mais c'est dégueulasse Il va y avoir des coups durs, des coups bas. Oh non il va avoir du sale, là. Et du drôle, j'espère. Vous êtes prêts Non, personne n'est prêt. I understood basically none of that. <laughs> We're 31 seconds in out of 14 minutes. Let's, let's keep going. Mes amis. <laughs> J'étais effectivement... That was funny. My friends, mes amis. J'étais... La guérison. Ete, je ete is I was. Um, so, I'm picking up on it. It's good. That was the video. It was funny. I'm sure I would have laughed a lot more if I had understood it a lot more. There were a lot of words that I picked up here and there, but I didn't catch any complete ideas. A lot of like my understanding of the video came just from knowing the context of the game they were playing and the series that they're mocking. So now I'm gonna do my reading comprehension test. 20 mille lieues sous les mers. Okay. I didn't really, I didn't really follow. I spent a lot of energy trying to pronounce the words and I like lost the context of the sentence. Now I'm gonna do my writing ability. So I'm gonna write a little passage about my week. I'm really just gonna try and write as much French as I can going to try some grammar patterns that I know and see how it goes. So, let's get down to it. The words are clearly not pouring out of me like poetry. There are so many red lines on my document that I don't think I spelled anything correctly. I don't know if my grammar is correct. I wasn't really able to form coherent thoughts. This is a very, very, very basic document. But I am proud of the fact that I used a comparative statement. I used a lot of past tense and um, present tense and future tense stuff. That concludes the baseline test of my French ability. Mwahahaha. <laughs> that went well. This dude is Augie. Augie is a friend of mine who has been going to a university in France and has been studying French for two years. I wanted to interview him to hear how he learned French and see if he has any tips for me to expedite the process. 
I also wanted to speak French for him so that he could critique my oral abilities. I would say try to speak with the locals as much as you can mm -hmm. and just try to have conversations with people. Honestly, there are some days where French is my best friend mm -hmm. and I have no problems throughout the whole day. And then there are other days where I feel like I don't understand anything that's going on, hmm. honestly. Even, even now? Even now, cool. even now. Um, so the three indications that you speak a language fluently or close to fluently is you start to dream in that language, you start to make jokes in that language, and you can understand poetry, or you start to understand poetry. That's something that comes naturally just over time, I think. Okay. It just, it just comes with time. Keep listening, keep listening. Okay. All the time. That's what you just gotta do. You just gotta listen and listen and listen. I, I think you kinda just said it. You just have to accept it. Try to use the nervousness to boost you, to, to get you a little bit hyped up. You can, you can hype yourself up. Sometimes that, that helps, you know? Mm -hmm. But I always find that I speak the language so much better when I'm relaxed. Yes, I wish I would've listened to French radio more often, or just had French things going on mm. uh, while I was doing mindless tasks. Uh, that is to say, like if I'm cleaning the house or something, I should have been listening to the radio. Listen to it all the time, all even the time. if you don't understand it. Okay. Even if you understand nothing, just cool. listen to it because then you're getting used to hearing those sounds. Also, one thing I wish I would not have done, I guess, actually, mm. is get too specific about things. I would start watching a movie in French, and then I would pause it every second that there was a word oh, that yeah. I didn't understand. Yeah, yeah. Totally not worth it. When you do that, first of all, uh, in my personal experience, you don't retain the words as well. The best way that I retain words and that I remember them is when I learn them in their context. So, at first I was really hard on myself. Because mm -hmm. I felt like an idiot. But compare it to English, actually. Mm -hmm. There will be some sometimes people will say things to me and I just don't understand what they say. So I have to ask them again, what, sorry, what did you just say? Yeah. Just accept it. Yeah. And tell yourself that it's okay. Cool. I didn't understand the sentence. That does not mean that I'm not progressing, obviously, because right. you will always progress mm. as long as you continue to work at it. Yeah. And definitely don't compare yourself. Everyone goes at their own pace. It is not a race. You need to go at your own pace. Bonjour. Je m'appelle Fox, or Renard. Je suis américain. Uh, j'ai um, 19 ans. Je um, j'adore uh, les films français. Mon mon film français préféré est Amélie mm -hmm. uh, parce que je sais pas um, <laughs> parce que très cool I don't know. Mm -hmm. très très um, très cool très cool Cool. Mm -hmm. cool. Uh, je, vais à la... je vais aller à français. Attends, tu veux dire quoi? With the pronunciation, the OU sound and the U sound. Mm -hmm. The way you say ass in French is cu. Ok. Which is different than cou. Parce que très cu. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Très, très. Uh, after six months, I think you'll be able to give your opinion on things a little bit more at a, you know, more than just a surface level of saying like, oh, this is good or this is bad, mm -hmm. you'll be able to go into why is this good or bad. So now that we've finished my baseline, we are going to go to Paris.